I um, just heard the title, Short Pathetic Life, and I thought, sure, oh, there's something in between my teeth. I could tell you my short pathetic life, it's usually... The word isn't economical, uh, it's like uh, corporate, maybe? Anyway, it's the time I spent trying to collect a paycheck that really amounts to short and pathetic, so here's my job history. Better than any resume I could tell you. My first job was dog sitting and then kid sitting at the same time as uh, my first babysitting job I moved into a neighborhood where uh, for a position in a kids theater company and then it was theater for kids but it was also kind of by kids like the performers were like 15 to 18. And the audience must have been 5 to 12. Um, I got through that without getting fired, and then, uh, kind of in the same summer, I don't actually know, I was a volunteer performer at the Renaissance Fair. That hardly counts as a job, though, because I got paid in drink tokens. Um, it's, I mean, it's, like, an excellent thing to do, because you meet new people and you learn acting skills. I just... I think it's fashionable to be disdainful of not getting paid for a job, so... Um... After that I went to school, where I got a job washing the big metal pots at the Skywalk stir-fry place in the basement of one of the dorms, like in the cafeteria basement. And that job didn't last long. Uh, it was that, like, those were two of my shifts, was at Skywalk, and then one of my shifts was... Terrence, when I say I'm recording something, can you, like, not bother me for a while, please? Okay, I'm sorry. Thanks. Um, and then the, the other shift was at this late night, uh, food credit grocery store connected to the cafeteria, where, um, you, you, like, bought... I don't know how many people have been to a school that uses this system, but you got, like, money that was only good for groceries as a part of a meal plan, and that's where people spent that was where I was doing the checkout lane. Uh, I don't know how long I did that job for, though, and I'm not talking about, like, oh, it went on for so long I stopped counting. It's more like, I, was it, did I make one shift or two, or was it three whole shifts, or did a week go by and I didn't quite feel it passing before I disappeared from that and just no call, no show. Um, after that I gave up on having a job while I was at school for a while, but I had a uh, did a year pass, and then I got, like, committed, admitted, that's the only thing, not actually committed, because there's degrees to how involuntary and how long-term your stay at a mental hospital is, and as far as I can tell, uh, It was only ever involuntarily ad admitted, so yeah. Um, and I know that was sophomore year, but I don't know if the shitty job market was freshman year. Uh, oh, but sophomore year I had a different job. 
I uh, entered a kind of program to for like innovators of technology and uh, yeah, I don't know how the project did without me, but the guy I uh, signed up to work with wasn't actually interested in working with me. And I don't blame him, because he would have had to, like, teach me what we were doing, but... He didn't really tell me what I could have done that I am good at, either, so... Not... And, and then, like... I just spit around and say, well, I don't think they had a job that I would have been good at there. You know, I think it was more, like, some kind of... And here I am down on myself. Maybe I would have been fine with like two minutes of instruction. Maybe it wasn't that fucking complicated. And I just got shut out for personal reasons. Anyway, that was... The last time I went to that job was actually after I got out, I think. And that's how I remember it anyway. Um... It doesn't really make sense though. I think I was fired by the time I went to the mental institution, sorry, the psychiatric unit of a regular hospital was all... It's, it's like I'm arguing that everyone's been crazy ass in a loony bin, but there really is one, so... I like to keep this thing straight, and then I, uh... Uh, I got a summer job that year, traveling horseshit, fond memories, and then I... At the end of that summer, like September, I moved up to, ran away, in fact, to Wisconsin, because after the, uh, after the horse term job ended, I ended up back in Urbana, and a part of my mind just imploded. I was like, no, I don't belong here any, anywhere, any, any, anywhere near as completely, and as, uh, socially accepted as I was working on the farm, so I was like, oh, it's nearly July 4th, and that was when I was invited to go back, so I was like, that's this place, I'm going back to the farm. Started, I walked to the edge of town, and then hopped in a taxi, something like a $400 taxi ride, and then I, uh, I didn't make it all the way there because I forgot the address of the farm, but I got into the, the town that it's like, uh, that it, the, the, the farmers get their groceries from, so, yeah, that, that wasn't too bad as far as interrupted journeys go. Uh, and instead of going back to the farm, the ambulance picked me up and then, uh, transferred me to a Chicago hospital, which was like, what? What am I doing here again? <laughs> I didn't do anything except try to talk philosophical with the man in the white coat. Like, because I was on a spirit journey, you know? And this is what it turned into after, I don't know, after I kind of realized I had to walk the rest of the way, I was like, well, God's give me a sign. Not really, I don't know. It's just hard to explain what drove me forward when I was walking through that town. I'm not sure which direction this hairlock should go. Because I got a weird, like, flat top growing out here. And I never expected to wear. And, and then on this side, uh, it's turning into a haircut analysis, thank goodness. This side, I've got these frillies that I really like, but it's like... I don't know what cartoon did I fall out of. And then on this side, it's all it's all there, except I can't show it on camera. So, but like you can see this this that's a bald spot that I shaved in. I don't know. I I'm pretty much waiting for my hair to grow out, but I think it's. Certainly tolerable at the moment. I've I've never had a haircut, not since uh, not since grade like all of grade school, 
where my mother was like, grow it long, grow it long. And I, I would try to go to the barber and be like, I need help picking a short haircut because I was like super non-functionally shy. And she would just be like, just take a couple of inches off and see how you like it. It's like, no, you, you can't see how you like a short haircut if your hair is still seven inches long. It, it's like, no, I don't like it because I wanted it short like a butch, like a military cut, like give me a faux hawk or something for fuck's sake. So we're just touching on unprocessed traumas and like, yeah, I could have kept a lid on it, but why keep a lid on something that's just an empty room and a uh, recording device, like, like <laughs> no one's gonna get offended. And if anyone at home felt sincerely alarmed, just think, let your boys grow your hair out and your girls cut it short. And then if they ask, let your girls be the ones with long hair and your boys be the ones with short hair. Wouldn't that be a novel? Wouldn't that be a revolution? Uh, wouldn't it be nice if we had a skill to rally around besides talking at length? But no, that's what I've got, so that's what I'm doing. Where was I on the job front? Oh yeah, I got a really sweet gag getting out of the hospital. Was that the right time? I don't remember. I, but I remember being put back in my parents' house, and then shortly after that, ending up working at a uh, an insurance agency, and that was like my dream job. Totally. Okay, not enough time has passed in this storytelling between, like, getting taken out of the Chicago hospital and put back into the LaGrange hospital. <sighs> Except, I remember I, I labeled once uh, a period in my life just called the Wasted Summer, and I think that has to be it, because it, it was like... I was gonna go to summer classes at U of I and then no one in God's green quad would talk to me except to try and steal my bike, so <laughs> I gave up on that place. I don't know what, like, black dog peed on me that told them I wasn't available for mature socialization. I had some pretty good stand-up interactions though, actually. I don't want to shit too hard on the Urbana people. I just, um, I would go long weeks not talking to anyone and then I'd get on stage and bring it down pretty much. I mean, like, open mic down. So, like, people, people got quiet and then they got loud. Yeah, that's, that's all that happened. But then, like, I couldn't, sustain any of that, partially because I was living in this, like, what is this, a minimum security prison? That's what I had thought of the layout of my apartment. And the, the thing was, like, orange, for fuck's sake, the sign out front. And I was like, oh god, what are they designing this for? What have I done to deserve living here besides being... I don't know how low in middle class I must be that I went to University of Illinois in Urbana-Champaign Called that an affordable school, considering that my parents had invested in it, and then had to live in, like, this strange ancient Rome place with ghosts and a prescription that didn't work for me. There were some fun times that, uh, that spring, like that real, real early spring where, like, it was just, like, a warm day in the late winter. Well, I decided that the medication they'd put me on, uh, must have been the third or fourth time I was put in the hospital and given random pills. Like, that's not safe, ladies and gentlemen, kids listening at home, dogs and cats and squirrels. They, 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 they put you in a place where you're not allowed to leave and say, swallow this bullshit. I'm like, that's gonna go into my brain thinks. And the things that turn, that make reality, reality for me. And you, you can't just force feed me that. At random, you don't know how many times this has happened or how many times it's gonna happen again. So, I did, like, just start refusing it after the FNAF fiasco. Does anyone here take FNAF? No, I didn't think so. I don't know who made it up or what it was made of, but I have a feeling someone was like, we've got a lot of asbestos mold getting rusty in these warehouses, why don't we just scrape it off and put it into pill bottles? Okay, no, that's not my, like, 
I need a symbol to say that I'm being like as hard rational as I can. Oh, it's not my touch wood <laughs> philosophy analysis of FNAPT. It's it's only a, a second or third generation antipsychotic that does much the same thing as the rest of them, except uh, the side effects are that it does it gives you a psychosis that you didn't have before, and I can attest to that one firsthand. And secondhand, because that's what my therapist told me it did. I, that was before she kind of bailed on being on my side and was like, I'm not talking to you until you put more of these plastic pills in you. And I call them plastic pills. I don't remember exactly why, but I, um, so this is, this is like real loose reality. But I just decided that, uh, lithium was, was worth as much as swallowing small pieces of plastic and I think I because it, it feels like a controlled retardation and I, I could figure out one or two ways to do that but but drinking plastic things was the most uh, likely of answers Terrence, what did I say? No? Please do not fucking say shit about me in here, okay? I'm not talking about you, Terrence. Don't fucking say shit about me, alright? Well, there, there goes. A train of thought we're gonna call the space train. Chugga, 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 chugga. Hope you weren't on it, cause it's not coming back. Oh, that <laughs> I was gonna, I was trying to show the window, but it ended up being a sexy pan up of my like hips and legs. <sighs> so uh, no one can possibly still be listening, and we're 17 minutes in. So I'll wrap this up, but remember, it was supposed to be titled My Short Pathetic Life, and yeah, I don't think 17 minutes is all that long as far as a life goes. Ah, oh, fuck it. I'll, I'm gonna put one of these in, like, like some kind of dinosaur bone. If anyone wants to hear the story of how I stopped taking FNAPT and what happened, put a comment in. Like or subscribe. Yeah, I'm still aware that YouTube is a public platform, but I have, like, I could account for every single view that my videos got. Isn't there, like, a newest on YouTube button that gets, like, scrapes five or seven people together? And they can say, like, girl, put the phone down and get a script or get some makeup on those blotchy, burned, freckle faces of yours, or shave your head, it's better to start over. Thank you, I'll take that as the comments section then. Because I'm not getting much input from this output, I'm, I'm selling the internet here. <laughs>